there, it's me Crystal and today I am doing an Alter 2 work in progress tag. I first saw this on Kristen Martin's YouTube channel and I will link her video below. So I have two work in progresses right now. I have the one that I am editing and the one that I am drafting. I am going to be talking about the one that I'm editing because I'm kind of a superstitious writer and I don't like to talk in too much detail about what I'm working on until it's finished, just in case it falls on its face. <laughs> so question number one, what is the working title of your book? My working title is my title title and it is Winter Siren. It is coming out November 1st of this year. Question number two, where did the idea of your book come from? So usually this is a harder question because most of my ideas are kind of like Franken ideas and they're just coming from all over the place. But this one's actually really simple. It is a Swan Lake retelling. Um, the idea actually didn't come from the ballet. I have seen Swan Lake twice and I love it. But the idea actually came from the movie Black Swan. Because all folk tales and fairy tales are like set in olden times, I am not an olden times kind of writer. And so... In order for me to get it, um, a retelling to work out, and I've been dying to do a retelling for several years now, and they would never work out because I kept being too literal with them and sending them in olden times. You'd think that I would be able to like figure this out on my own, but something about watching Black Swan that's set in a very modern day setting um, helped me get over that kind of literal retelling hurdle. And instead of like trying to do a literal retelling, I just kind of took the idea of it and threw it in my brain and like scrambled it up and let it pop out whatever it wanted. But yeah, like I love that movie Black Swan. Like it's so dark and <laughs> emotional and it just really helped me see um, like how you can like match something old with something modern and like make it work. Question number three, what genre is your current work in progress? This is a little bit harder to answer. I'm calling it like a magical realism slash retelling. And when it comes time for like me to pick the genre and like other metadata for my book, I'm probably going to set it on more like a paranormal um, category and fairy tale and retelling category. But yeah, it's a retelling, paranormal, magical realism, fun. <laughs> uh, question number four. Uh, choose the actors for your movie rendition. So I don't normally do this, um, but I do actually have an actor that I think would be perfect for Victor. Um, Victor is, um, he's a very, like, poshed, buttoned up like, polite, <laughs> dark kind of individual, and... When I was thinking about this, I was like, you know who would be perfect for Victor? Colin Farrell. Like, he, I just feel like, like, he could bring, like, that kind of swag that Victor has. And that just kind of, like, posh, rich, kind of stiff, but, like, has, a, like, a, but, like, has, like, a dark side. I just feel like, and also when I picture Victor in my head, he kind of looks a little like Colin Farrell. Like, he's very handsome and very regal. I just think he would be perfect. And I didn't really pick actors for anybody else because I don't really know a lot of actors. Um, especially not, like, younger actors and the main characters. They're both around 21. And, yeah. Question number five. Give a one-sentence synopsis of your book. So, one sentence. So, I'm having such a hard time with this. Okay. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm struggling. So, instead of putting it from the point of view of the character, I'm just going to say what it's about. So, Winter Siren is about this girl who was kidnapped and forced to sing in this secluded opera house in the Colorado Mountain region. Stuff happens. <laughs> I think that makes sense. I have no idea what I said. I guess I'll see when I watch it back. <laughs> but yeah, basically, it's about this girl. She's kidnapped. It's about two girls. <laughs> and one of them is Victor's daughter. And she's, like, deformed. And the other one is this beautiful, like, songstress. But he kidnapped her and forced, and forced her to sing in this opera house. Because that's how he makes money. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> question number six, 
will your book be self-published or represented by an agency? So, it is going to be self-published under my publishing imprint, The Narcissistic Rose, which is just the name of my writing business. Question number seven, how long did it take you to write the first draft of your book? So the best that I can guess is that it was like three, three and a half months to write the first draft. Question number eight, what other books would you compare your story to? So this is another thing that's difficult for me to do, but I would say because there's like a musical theater element and there's like a character that's like deformed <laughs> in some way, I would say maybe The Phantom of the Opera and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I can't really think of any like more modern stories that are like this story. Uh, question number nine, who or what inspired you to write the book? So I feel like that's very similar to question number two. So yeah, so it was um, Black Swan the movie, but what actually happened was um, I had a concept for the story. Um, I think after I saw Swan Lake the second time, I had a concept and I was baking it and for like a year and it, really, <laughs> it wasn't really going anywhere. So I went to see uh, The Nutcracker with my sister for probably the fifth time or more. And I loved The Nutcracker. I loved the music. I loved the dancing. I loved the costumes. And there was something, like, I think maybe it was just because, like, it's so relaxing, like, being in the theater and it's dark and I don't have to think about anything and I'm just very relaxed. So we were leaving um, The Nutcracker and, like, all of a sudden, like, my brain <laughs> just started Exploding with like all these ideas and I was on my phone for like the next half an hour like typing as fast as I could to like get down like I wanted to capture like all the highlights and um, all like the major plot points and everything like that and so that's when the current version of this uh, story came together and it's funny because I wasn't even thinking about the story when I went in to see the Nutcracker there's just something about it that like kind of just got my brain's attention anyway it's great so, last question, question number 10. What else about your book might pique the reader's interest? <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just having like a lot of fun with these questions. So, I feel like the story is very, I mean of course it's dark, because it's me. <laughs> I feel like it's also, it's very emotional and it's, it's kind of like, I feel like it's like a, like it's, it's a ride. It's, it's a ride. It's a fun ride. But yeah, so, yeah, there's a musical theater element. And there's the magic and mystery and darkness. And it's a ride. So yeah, so this was a lot of fun. And I hope the questions below in case you want to do the tag. And if you do, let me know. And yeah, that's all. And thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.